Synthesis of adrenal steroid hormones occurs in three layers of the adrenal cortex. From outermost to inner side, these layers are uh, zona glomerulosa, zona fasciculata and zona reticularis that is GFR. Zona glomerulosa synthesizes mineralocorticoids, zona fasciculata synthesizes mainly glucocorticoids and zona reticularis synthesizes androgens. So I remember it like uh, obviously for the layers as GFR and uh, G synthesizes M that is a general manager like that. So glomerulosa synthesizes mineralocorticoids and uh, last one I remember as uh, Ra like uh, sun god Ra is there no. So reticularis synthesizes androgens. So obviously the middle layer fasciculata synthesizes mostly the glucocorticoids. So what are the steps in the synthesis of these adrenal steroid hormones? Well, all the steroid hormones, so let it be adrenal or any other hormones like uh, testosterone, vitamin D, all are synthesized from cholesterol. But the further steps vary. Various adrenal steroids are synthesized uh, by multiple steps and uh, multiple pathways the basic one of which is this uh, that is cholesterol is converted to pregnenolone which is converted to progesterone then uh, there is 11 deoxycorticosterone and uh, then uh, corticosterone so this is sorry corticosterone and uh, finally it is converted to aldosterone so we can remember it like pre pro d c so once you remember this uh, steps pre pro dc you will see that um, the other steps are also easy to remember so if you focus here basically this pathway is synthesizing the mineralocorticoid that is aldosterone from this pathway there are diversions also the pregnenolone is converted to 17 hydroxypregnenolone and progesterone can also be converted to 17 hydroxyprogesterone. you see I have drawn two arrows from here further there are no arrows so when the enzyme 17 alpha hydroxylase acts on pregnenolone it creates 17 hydroxypregnenolone similarly for creating 17 hydroxyprogesterone same enzyme acts 17 alpha hydroxylase now with the second pathway you see the Cortisol is uh, being synthesized which is a glucocorticoid. So again if you see it's easy to remember with the same pre pro DC it is here only difference is 17 hydroxy then it is pre pro DC. So instead of corticosterone here it becomes deoxycortisol and then cortisol. Now this pathway further again branches. So you see this 17 hydroxypregnenolone is converted to dehydroepiandrosterone and the 17 hydroxyprogesterone is converted to androstenedione and there is a vertical pathway also DHEA is also converted to androstenedione. So this uh, horizontal pathway you see same enzymes are acting 1720 lyase. So here it is 17 alpha hydroxylase and uh, in the second step there is 17 20 lyase. So horizontally we are seeing that how the various chemicals are traveling. Now vertically let us see what are the various enzymes. See for conversion of first step that is pregnenolone to progesterone or 17 hydroxypregnenolone to 17 hydroxyprogesterone or for uh, DHA to convert into androstenedione there is same enzyme that is 3 beta hydroxy steroid dehydrogenase same enzyme is acting across all the steps so you see till the top two steps the chemicals are traveling horizontally also that is uh, they can synthesize aldosterone cortisol or the androgens and same enzyme is acting vertically in all the three steps of adrenal steroid synthesis now further down if we see uh, if you remember the steps that is pre pro DC and here also pre pro DC. So logically here one enzyme should act which should be common in both the zones and here also one enzyme should act which should be common in both the zones. So that is what is happening for conversion of progesterone to 11 deoxycorticosterone or uh, for conversion of 17 hydroxyprogesterone to 11 deoxycortisol there is enzyme 21 beta hydroxylase. 
Then for next step there is another enzyme that is 11 beta hydroxylase. So as I told in the beginning that uh, glucocorticoids are synthesized in the zona fasciculata. Now if you see till here all the steps which are occurring in the synthesis of the mineralocorticoids, the enzymes which are required, they are also present in the zona fasciculata. That means this particular pathway is also going on in zona fasciculata. If cholesterol is present, since enzymes are there, it will form corticosterone also and cortisol also. So yes, these are the major glucocorticoids which are synthesized in the zona fasciculata that is cortisol and corticosterone. The corticosterone is responsible for only 4% of the glucocorticoid activity still. These are the major steroids synthesized in sona fasciculata. Now the next step from corticosterone to aldosterone requires an enzyme aldosterone synthase which is present only in zona glomerulosa. That is the reason that uh, mineralocorticoids are synthesized only in the zona glomerulosa. So friends, hopefully you have understood the steps in the synthesis of the steroid hormones. I have tried to make it as easy as possible uh, by telling you the major enzymes. That is uh, horizontally if we see it is 17 alpha hydroxylase and then 17 20 lyase which are responsible for the first two steps. Then vertically if we see there are three major enzymes 3 beta hydroxy steroid dehydrogenase, 21 beta hydroxylase and 11 beta hydroxylase. And uh, for the synthesis of aldosterone, aldosterone synthase is required which is present in the zona glomerulosa. Now this knowledge is uh, very important for understanding adrenogenital syndromes which we will be dealing in a subsequent video. Well, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, do press the like button, share the video with others and uh, do subscribe to the channel Physiology Open. Thank you.